COVID, I bought a jet. In COVID. It's not new stuff that private jets are only for the super rich in the society. However, in Nigeria, some pastors have defied all odds to show that they could own some of all these super expensive air cruisers too, even though there are opinions that they fit fat on their poor congregation. You may be asking, how many of our popular Nigerian pastors own private jets? This video will be your guide as we will be showing you a compilation of the Nigerian pastors who currently own at least a private jet in the country. At number 8, we have Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufuni, the founder and head prophet of Christ's message land deliverance ministry worry delta state nigeria he founded the church on 3rd april 2010 he's of the opinion that the church owning a private jet is in luxury but a necessity in his words a private jet is more convenient and that is one of the reasons a lot of preachers have planes he owns a private jet but details of his jet model is not known after local zaha kogi said we are coming to abuja one night then i will go with my private jet so to worry this came after the tireless general, Prophet Omoto Fufuni, was blessed with a Jeep Wagon Mercedes Benz 2018 model and 2018 Land Cruiser Jeep as gifts from one of his sons. Womo Womo, as he is fondly called, has a unique pedigree. He has neither a mentor nor godfather, as is common with most charismatic pastors. The number seven pastor who owns a private jet is Apostle Johnson Suleiman, as he is fondly called by his followers. He is a Nigerian televangelist, a senior pastor, and general overseer of Omega Fire Ministry International a Nigerian-based church located in Aoshi, Edo State, South Southern Nigeria. Apostle Suleiman is an incredibly wealthy pastor and he recently joined the League of Nigerian Pastors who own private jets. In COVID, I bought a jet. In COVID. The third, I have three, the third one. In COVID. I was praying for COVID not to end because I was resting. This is coming after the pastor told his members that they should help the poor rather than acquire such expensive cars and jets as the case may be. However, the ministry has to move forward and this expansion has brought the need to acquire a private jet. His terror background. He started Omega Fire Ministry in 2004 after working as an assistant pastor in the Armor of God's Church in Lagos and since then, this church has grown to become one of the biggest Christian denominations in Nigeria. At number 6 is Bishop Mike Okonkwo, the presiding bishop and the founder of the redeemed evangelical mission popularly known as TREM worldwide. He's also a dynamic conference speaker, evangelist, author, television and radio host, a strong and a respected voice in Nigeria, and an advocate of balanced Christianity. Bishop Mike Okonkwo has joined the growing list of pastors with private jets in the country as he made the announcement to the excited congregation at one of the annual conference of his church saying that the jet would help facilitate the new phase of ministry. He's one of the richest pastors in Nigeria and is on our list of Nigerian pastors with private jets this year. Bishop Mike regularly flies outside Nigeria for conferences, hence the need of the private jet to spread more of the gospel to people of the world. Making it at number 5 on this list of Nigerian pastors who own private jets is Pastor Chris Oyakilome, the founder and president of Believers Love World Incorporated, also known as Christ Embassy, a popular Nigerian church located in Lagos, Nigeria, with branches spread all over the country and even outside the church of Nigeria. Pastor Chris is one of the pastors with private jets in Nigeria and has chosen to keep details of the jets secret. Pastor Chris Oyakilome is not based in the country but often visits the country to see how his church and congregation are faring, hence the reason for owning a private jet. However, he chose to not reveal the amazing mystery behind the jet. The number four pastor owning a private jet in Nigeria is Papa Ayo or Richard Jaffo as he is popularly referred to. He is the senior pastor and founder of World of Fly Bible Church located in Wari Delta State, Nigeria. Papa, as is fondly called, also made it to this year's list of Nigerian pastors with private jets and he claimed the aircraft was given to him as a gift by some of his wealthy church members. Pastor Richard Jaffo has a total number of one private jet whose model is Bombardier Challenger 601. Pastor Ayo Richard Jaffo has dismissed criticism training his acquisition of a private jet, saying he was not ashamed to own a plane. Although this was given by church members in commemoration to his 40th year 
hair on the pulpit. Looking back at his profile, he was the national president of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria (PFN) for five years between 2005 and 2010. I was elected the president of the Christian Association of Nigeria (CAN) in 2010. Number three is the late pastor Temitope Balogun Joshua, popularly referred to as TB Joshua. This man is the founder and the leader of Synagogue Church of All Nations, which in turn owns Emmanuel TV, a television station for Christians and one of the biggest Christian television stations on the African continent. Prophet TB Joshua is certainly one of the pastors with private jets in Nigeria. Prophet TB Joshua's private jet is worth $60 million. Although his wife has not taken over as the leader of the church since Pastor TB Joshua passed away on the 5th of June 2021 and he also controls the TV station and his private jet. Prophet TB Joshua had a total number of one private jet which model is Gulfstream G550. Having seen and heard most of his free giving activities, we can confirm that this prophet is a philanthropist who loves reaching out to the needy. On number two, we have Pastor E. A. Adeboye, a famous pastor and general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God, which he joined in the year 1973. He's popularly referred to as Daddy G.O. He's not the founder of the redeemed Christian Church of God, but has been with the ministry since 1973 and he eventually became the general overseer some years later. He also has many properties to his name, which includes two private jets allegedly worth $65 million each. Pastor Enoch Adeboye has a total number of two private jets and the models of the private jets are Gumfrey G550 and the Gumfrey GIV. Years ago, when the Almighty God provided us with a jet, oh, there was a lot of noise. People were criticizing me right, left, and center. They sent EFCC to come and probe me. Where did he get the money to buy a jet? Etc. Etc. The noise was much. Then one day I was flying. Because I didn't buy a jet for pleasure. The work has expanded to a level that there's no way I can do it by commercial traveling. But if you want to travel by commercial, you have to wait for their timetable. If I have to wait for their timetable, I won't be able to do what God wants me to do. I mean, to give you an example, I finished our European convention in Spain one night, 33 nations gathered together. As soon as I dismissed the program around 12 midnight, I headed straight to the airport to travel over to Hong Kong. I arrived in Hong Kong the following day, did what I needed to do, and then moved on to Singapore. I arrived in Singapore, did what I needed to do, and then headed for Australia. I got to Australia, did what I needed to do, I headed to Papua New Guinea. You can do all those, and I, I needed to touch all those places, minister to them, de dedicate the churches, uh, ordain pastors, and be back before the next Holy Ghost service. There's no way I can do that by the commercial pile. Lane. That's, that's what led to the jet. The noise was great. And I was becoming a bit disturbed. Father, what do I do now? And then one day I was, I was flying. It was during the day. Far above the cloud. And I just felt the Holy Spirit saying, look out of the window and I looked out of the window I said Lord I, I can't see anything I said look, on, look down look down at the, at the cloud so I looked down and I saw a rainbow 
Now, normally, a rainbow is an arc. But this rainbow that I saw was a complete circle. And it was extremely big. And I looked down into the center of the rainbow. And I see the shape of a plane. And as the, it looks as if the rainbow was moving, always keeping the plane in the middle. And the Lord said to me, Son, the shadow you see is the shadow of this your plane. I have you surrounded. I decree to somebody here today. Newsweek once named Pastor E.A. Adeboye among the 50 most powerful people in the world. It's quite a feat considering just how many powerful men and women we have in the world. Adeboye was also a former mathematics professor at the University of Lagos and in Loring. He's highly revered among his members of his church and congregation. The ROCCG is one of the biggest churches on the African continent and the church with the highest number of branches across Nigeria. On the top of the list, we have Bishop David Oyedepo, the founder and president presiding bishop at Living Faith Church Worldwide, also known as Winner's Chapel. Bishop Oyedepo is one of the pastors with private jets in Nigeria and the first on our list of Nigerian pastors with private jets. Bishop Oyedepo has an alleged number of four private jets. He also has a private hangar which is located at the Mutala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos. Models of his private jets are Bombardier Challenger 604, Grumman Gulfstream G159, Gulfstream V G5, Gulfstream 4. In 2011, Bishop Oyedebo became the richest pastor in Nigeria in a report by Forbes magazine with an estimated net worth of $150 million at that time. Many sources say he's now worth much more than that at the time of compiling this video. Living Faith has one of the world's biggest auditorium with 50,400 seat capacity. All the places I used to trek, carrying this gospel and enjoying the insults of people, I fly my helicopter across the place. Today. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! In that time, you will be very mad to think that a pastor will fly a helicopter. You, you must be mad. You, you mustn't say so. <laughs> now, I bought it with my money. <laughs> not your church money. Yes. I can go to my village 20 times if I want. <laughs> <laughs> so if you enjoyed the video, kindly click the subscribe button and like and click on the end screen on your left to watch the most protected pastors in Nigeria.